In this video, we're going to review and demonstrate this endoscope that I got from Amazon. And I got this to look inside of engines. I do small engine repair. So we're, we're going to see what kind of pictures we can get from this, see what the quality is, and if it's really very useful. Now, I want to mention this is not a sponsored video. I bought this with my own money from Amazon. And here's a shot of the engine we're going to demonstrate on. Okay, so let's get into checking this thing out. So the, the box is fairly generic. It does not have a name on the box, just endoscope. Tells you some of the features here. You know, the person that checks off these boxes was out the day that this went down the line. And right here is the label that's on it. It says iPhone, iPad, and Samsung, which is basically gonna be Android. So this, this has an adapter for iPhones. It's set up, the, the plug that comes on it is for Android. So in the box, you get this. Now this here is fairly flexible, just wire. This part here is gonna be rigid. So as you can see it, you know, this will stand up on its own. So you can put this in somewhere that's, where you don't have to hold this end of it. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna go into whatever you need. The nice feature about this one, which is why I got this model, it has two cameras. It has a camera that's on that end, and it has a camera that looks directly at a, at a 90 degree angle from when you put it inside the opening. And each one has a light. There's a, a light there, and this one has like eight lights or six lights that go around the outside. And then here's the plug that, that it comes with. Then here's the adapter to hook it into an iPhone. And then it comes with uh, a hook to retrieve things, a magnet, and a mirror to look at a 45, like to look backwards from where you put it in the opening at. And then it also comes with just a little ring to screw on to protect these threads here. You know, they call it a cover. It doesn't cover the opening. It just covers the thread so they don't get messed up. And then this here is like the controller. You have a wheel here to control the, the how bright the light is. Then you have this button here. You would use that to take a picture or to change cameras. If you long press, it actually changes which camera lens it uses. And then you have some directions in the box here on in order to get the app for this, I scanned the QR code and it takes you right to the Play Store, right to the app for that. Now the brand name on this is something that looks like Election. I'm going to hold up the warranty card. It's going to have that name on it. Uh, when you get to the listing, if, once you click on the listing, you'll be at the Election Store. That's the, the brand name of the store. But I think most of these that look like this are pretty much going to be the same endoscope they just all have different sellers so you know you pick whichever one you like so we're going to put this inside of an engine see what the cylinder looks like so here's a screenshot of the amazon page where i purchased this and you can see on there the one that it says i purchased and uh I looked at a bunch of them and they're all about the same price and when you look at everything they have I think they all have almost the same pictures so you could almost pick any of them you know in that price range that look like this they're, I'm sure they're all the same in the listings a lot of them don't even have a brand name and you know the brand names are pretty generic whatever somebody threw at the wall and decided that's what it is but uh, it seems to work pretty good. Now here you can see, I'm putting it inside of this uh, hole in the engine where the spark plug goes. So right now we're looking at the cylinder and the camera that I have turned on is the one that looks out the side of the tube. So that's why we're able to see this, the, uh, the cross hatching on the cylinder. Now right there, where the oil is laying that's the bottom of the cylinder so this cylinder is a horizontal cylinder so it just lays on the bottom 
and there you can see a little bit of scoring and that's what I was looking for you know it maybe it was going to be on the bottom maybe it was going to be somewhere around the side it's not the scoring is not always on the bottom if you have a broken ring that it can cause that but it's usually a lot worse but uh, you know you can see the cross hatching when it gets out of focus that's because the lens is a little bit too close to what it's looking at now the way I'm controlling this is just the wire that's sticking inside the spark plug hole so you know I have my camera out there well my phone that it's hooked up to and uh, you know the, the coil of wire so it's a little bit hard to control but I'm trying to rotate the lens to look all the way around the cylinder and I did that and you know there again you can see a little bit of scoring and that's really the purpose of why I was looking in there to see if I could see any real bad damage now there's there's a little bit there but uh, I'm pretty happy with the the pictures that I'm getting from this and that is actually video so this will record video and it will take pictures now there is the lens the, the pictures you're seeing right now is this endoscope out in the open you know there I'm taking a, a picture of a video of the top of the engine you can see what the engine is and now I'm going to go in here and look where the push rods go because sometimes on these head gaskets they blow out a little bit and that could make the engine smoke also so I'm trying to look at to see if there's any evidence that the head gaskets gone bad and right there I'm gonna try and put some arrows in there there's a seam right there in the middle of the screen that's where the head gasket fits so that picture those pictures right there were the camera looking out the end right now I'm changing it to look out the side and then I'm gonna go we're gonna go back in here no, I didn't change it yet that little bit of brown there you can see I'm good like I said I'm gonna put some arrows in I think now is when I'm gonna change the lens yeah so now we got the the other lens that looks out the side at a 90 degree angle and even there that's the the lens that looks out the side and, and you know even pretty far away at my carport there it's a pretty clear picture so you know I'm using this to look inside of something if you were to buy this for the purposes of looking around the corner you might be able to see what you're looking for now I'm not suggesting anything like that but it might be a you know it might work for other things besides what I'm using it for and obviously looking inside of walls you know which is probably where most people are going to use this but you know this video I wanted to look inside of an engine that's the kind of thing I do so hopefully people wanting to see what kind of details they can see now that seam that black line there that is the head gasket so you know I'm trying to look around in there there's a push rod the lower push rod you know the one to the left of the screen that you can't quite see right there that's the upper push rod then the one now is the lower one between those two is usually where the head gasket blows out so I'm not really seeing the, any evidence of that but uh, the camera needs to come out a little bit farther in order to really get the the angle that right there see that that's where the head gaskets at right in that that dark area and uh, you know hopefully I get some arrows up on the screen so you can tell what I'm looking at but you know this video this purpose of this video is so people that want to look inside an engine they get an idea of are they going to be able to see what they want to see and I think if you're able to get the camera at the right place that you're going to see what you're looking for you, you know you'll be able to definitely be able to make it out and uh, so this camera th this scope will take video and it will take still photos also and it does have a zoom like uh, a, it has three settings for how much it will zoom in I think like maybe a half a 1.0 and a 2.0 something something like that but it does have some settings and uh, 
I think it may zoom in on video, I'm not sure. Now, on the camera that looks out the side, the, that, that there's the lights from the end camera, but the camera that looks out the side, you can rotate the image four, four ways. You know, just like any regular picture, except you can rotate that so it might be upside down or backwards. You know, so you can hit a button and rotate that, but you can't do that while it's videotaping, while it's recording. You have to stop, change the image, and then, uh, you know, start back up again. So here's another shot of that Amazon page just to end out the video. Uh, hopefully you got mechanic guys, you know, were able to use this video to determine if this is the kind of camera that you want. You know, I, I think it's going to work real well for what I want. But, uh, you know, from time to time, I, I'm going to do a tool review like this. You know, hopefully, you know, doing it from my perspective helps somebody out. Uh, so thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.